I get people, I understand people. Um, and I connect with people, and I can bring them in and make them feel seen and valued. And I think that's my, my greatest joy. She's a former Miss New York with a master's in communication, a drive for service, and a social media following of half a million fans. At just 26, Karen Delaney is making her mark on the world. For the longest time when I asked myself, like, what do you want to do when you grow up? The biggest thing that really inspired me most was loving people and being a friend. And I'm like, can I make a career out of that? And then content creation kind of put itself in my path. And perhaps her most beloved creation is Denise, or Heaven's Receptionist, a lighthearted fictional character who pretends to welcome others into heaven. Oh my God, we got a whole gaggle of angels coming through here. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Beyond her humor, followers are drawn to Taryn's authenticity and vulnerability. So I was feeling blue, I was down in the dunes. When it comes to creating the content that you know is true to who you are, but also that are resonating with a lot of people, like how do you curate or create those ideas? The best stuff I've ever created that I'm most proud of is coming from a place of absolute and complete honesty, because it's also a very scary thing to do. I have generalized anxiety. I second guess myself all the time. I want to use my voice even when it scares me. One of the things you did that I found in my younger years that was pretty scary is being on stage. Your former Miss New York. You put yourself out there. It was so cool. And I always found that these moments came to me when I was the most, I had the most self-doubt. In 2022, Taryn was the first black Miss New York to be crowned in her natural hair. I noticed that, you know, as a black young professional yeah. in New York City, yeah. being on camera, whether it is on social media or even right now in this interview, I decided to wear braids. It's one of these things of like, this is my heritage, this is my culture. You rocked your curly afro, you rocked your curly hair, yeah. just out there. And I competed for several years, I mean, five years, with a, a weave-in, straight hair, um, because I was told that's how you win. You know, that's how you, that is what's beautiful. I was even told by folks, like, I love your hair. Wear your hair natural after you win. And then I got to my very last year of eligibility. I was about to age out of the Miss America program. And when I went into competing for Miss New York, I was like, all right, I don't want this if I don't get to do it as me. You have to be standing who you are, what you believe, and never back down from that. That state of mind allows Taryn to explore her creativity on social media. The characters that I create or the impressions that I do are really coming from one place of love. Denise, the heaven receptionist, she's strong, but at the same time, she's funny. What started out as a playful post quickly took on a more meaningful life of its own. One of my favorites is, I think someone wrote in to you and said, you know, our daughter passed away. Yeah. Would you welcome her into heaven? And yes. she's a little girl. Yeah. And I'm going to get emotional. I'm I know. Get emotional. I'm a... <laughs> Me too. Your mom called you Olivia. That's your name. And one day, a long time from now, down on Earth, it won't feel like a long time up here, but it'll be a long time from now on Earth, she'll come up here to be with you. And she'll be so happy to see you. But I remember watching that video, and it was so beautiful. Just the ability to make people feel so seen and heard. I'm so honored that people trust me with their stories. They trust me with their loved ones. And that they want to share. If I can bring someone comfort, it's, it's such a gift. Also a gift is the life Taryn feels she's been blessed with. One she doesn't take for granted. We see you on social media. You're looking beautiful and stunning. And, and while there's a lot of realness to what you do, you've worked really hard to get here. The internet met me in a really exciting like highlight of my life. But before all of that, I was very lonely living in New York. I was cleaning our babies and I called my mom and I just was like, I, I really feel like my life is about to begin. I just want it to begin. And my mom was like, your life has begun. You're in the middle of it right now. She was like, this, this is your life. I want people to know that you're in it right now. This is your journey. I am like still tearing up from How that. Taryn is so inspiring. Like, I mean, was... she knew her calling since she's a little kid. Like, I find that so fascinating. She knew that her goal was to love people. Yeah. I mean, to be that clear, that young. By the way, don't you love, I like the connection between yes. them. Don't you think it's super cool? Yes. I just resonate yeah. with her so much in that, you know, you meet someone on social media, and we talk about this often, and you meet them and you kind of have this picture of who they are in yeah. life, but you really don't know yeah. the complexity when you widen that aperture, and she's an example of that. And also, I think it's important when we talk about this on social media, for kids, you want to 
clean up your fe feed, declutter your feed, follow yeah. people that inspire you. That's so and good. And that's exactly what I decided to do. Wait, when that's I so smart because it's like if you think about who you follow or or how social media makes you feel, if you're just filling yourself with things that aren't inspiring, you're not going to feel good. Well, and they say that everything you consume, whether it's food, social media. Television, TV, movies, books. It's what you become. Yes. So you get to be the gatekeeper. You get to say, you get in, you don't get in. But you're right. If you're snarky laughing at somebody's, you know, misfortune yeah. and go, aha, did you see yeah. this? That's where you're, that's the way you're headed. Yeah. Exactly. Boy, she's cool. She's amazing. I encourage you all to follow her. And since yeah. I'm a big fan of Heaven's Receptionist, you know, I had to ask Denise to let me tag along for the day. So let's introduce you to Stella. <laughs> let's keep the good right, stab at work here. Thank you. All right, sorry to see you, but at yeah. the same time, we all gonna end up here one day, right? Yeah. Okay, so a couple important things to go over. Um, oh, we're getting a call right now. Already? Yeah, 777, this is heaven. I'm talking to Denise, how can I assist you? Uh-huh, 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 oh. Okay, I lost them. They probably got resuscitated. Oh. Anyway. Well, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss, you gotta get that right. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my God, was so much fun. She, by the way, so she fun. needs a career in comedy. Is that yes. her next thing, you think? I think so. I think she's funny. She's very well-rounded. <laughs> if you haven't seen these videos of Denise, I encourage you to check Denise out. Stella made a little bit of an appearance here. I was not as good as Denise, but they're warm, you they're inviting. You I tried. tried my best. No, you I were giggling. You were like watching her and giggling. That was I was really... like watching the whole thing. Well, actually, the whole video will be posted on my Instagram account at Allie Miss Love. So check it out. Awesome, <laughs> Allie. We love you. I like all your you. bracelets, by the way. What are all, what's happening here? Project. You know, inspiring words. We're talking about inspiring things. Together, always, you got this. Oh, I love show this. Up. Show up. Yeah. Cool.